And I'm cognizant of everyone's time, so uh, hopefully we'll get through here and get everyone out by 9 o'clock. My name is Michael Olson, and I'm the manager of community recreation for the North District, Toronto Parks, Forestry and Recreation. So thank you for coming. Tonight's agenda, we're going to cover a few things. Uh, we're going to do an overview of the policy and what we want to do in the policy review, the purpose of the meeting, uh, the format of tonight, uh, some information around public courts, and some information around the policy and policy review, then a table discussion, a summary of themes, and a short Q&A and a wrap up. Really the purpose of today is to identify some issues and solutions for current tennis club permits. We also want to talk about utilization of public courts. So we have clubs that have designated courts and, and we have public courts that the public can use generally. We want to talk about potential inclusion of tennis partnerships, programming, and or permitting. I'm sorry, my voice is about as quiet as it did, so I apologize for that. And I've actually done talking, so <laughs> that's the worst part. I'm going to introduce Kathleen. Kathleen is a supervisor of issue management in the director's office of community recreation. Sure. Thank you, Michael. So I just want to say again, welcome. Thank you very much for coming tonight. This is the first of four public consultations regarding this policy review, and we're very excited to have such a good turnout. So I'll quickly talk about Parks, Forestry, and the Recreation Division, which is the division responsible for this policy. We have over 1,500 parks on over 8,000 hectares of parkland, over 10 million trees. We have over 500,000 permit hours at our recreation facilities. We have approximately 180 tennis court locations across the city with over 600 tennis courts on those locations. And as Michael mentioned, we also have 59 community tennis clubs. So we also have three service plans that were in, adopted by council in the past few years. We have an urban forestry plan, a parks plan, and a community recreation service plan. The great thing about these service plans is they are endorsed by council and they are guiding our work moving forward for the next few years, specifically, improved communication and community engagement are a part of all of these plans and tonight's meeting is one of the things that we're doing with regard to policy and programming related to those initiatives. So I'll talk about the meeting format a little bit. Uh, to start, we have in the City of Toronto a policy for outdoor community tennis club operations. That forms the basis of why we're here today and the start of this process. In August 2014, Council directed our division, Parks, Forestry and Recreation, to review the policy that governs the operation of those 59 community clubs and to report back at the end of 2015. So when this review process started, it was strictly about this community club policy. Since that time, there have been additional motions made at Council to expand the scope of the review and include consideration for permitting of public courts. So that means a member of the public or a company could permit specific times at one of the public courts that's currently open to everyone. And also to look at some enhanced programming options. So tonight we're going to ask you some specific questions at your tables about the community club policy and also about this possibility of permitting public courts. So as we go through, when we get to the tables, we're going to ask some specific questions. And what I want to ask of everyone in the room is that you are respectful of the opinions at the table. It's possible, if not likely, that some of the people at the table will have different opinions than yours. That's encouraging. That means that we're hearing from a wide variety of people, and that's very important when it comes to an extensive policy review. We do ask that you're respectful of other people's opinions, and that everyone at the table get a chance to contribute to each of the questions. If there's any trouble, which I'm sure there won't be, but if there's any trouble, you can raise your hand and we'll come around to try to help facilitate discussion around any particularly contentious issues. 
Tennis is an exciting sport. It's a very exciting time to be involved with tennis. We have professionals on the international circuit that are doing very well. And as we've learned from these recent discussions at council, it's really important to a lot of our residents. So again, I do want to say welcome. We will turn it over to the table discussions at this time. You have a facilitator and a recorder. And Michael's giving me I just got to do a housekeeping. I apologize to my sure. friend. <laughs> so just a quick housekeeping.